Fairfax County. Welcome to the Junior Chef Demo. I understand there's a lot of you who are going to be on today. And I am Tina McDermott, and I'm super duper duper excited to see everybody today. Now, I'm going to go through just a little bit of housekeeping. And as I'm doing that, I want everyone to type in the chat, what's your favorite vegetable or fruit? What is your favorite vegetable or fruit? Go ahead and type in what is your favorite vegetable or fruit. All right, now I have my friend Caitlin with me. If for some reason the internet goes out, don't you worry, we'll be right back. And every time I say it, it doesn't happen, okay? Also, I want the cameras off and please make, make sure that you stay on mute unless I ask you to turn your camera on so I can see your creations, okay? Oh, I've got avocado from Lisa. Good, very, very good. All right, let me tell you what we are going to create today, and then we're going to go and create it, okay? And I'll introduce myself. I'm going to make, we, we are going to make ants on a log. We're going to make ants on a log. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. And then we're going to make apple sandwiches or apple teeth, you decide. Then we're going to make this beautiful palm tree out of fruit. And if we have time, which we should have time, we're going to make overnight oats, banana cream pie, basically. It's banana cream pie, which is overnight oats. Yes. Yes. So, so, so excited. Now, who is going to actually, who is in the kitchen actually going to be preparing food with me? Put a one in the chat. If you're in the kitchen, ready to prepare food with me, put a two in the chat if you're just sitting there and watching me. Put a one in the chat if you're preparing food in the kitchen. Put a two if you're just watching. All is good. I want to see a couple of watches. One couple of people are, you're still at the office, Audrey. That's okay. That's all right. So a lot of people are watching. Some people are in the kitchen going to be cooking with me or preparing the food with me. And let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Tina McDermott. I am, I call myself the inspirational lazy chef. And I'm a speaker and a weight loss coach. I've been doing this for 20 years and I can honestly say there is seriously no place that I'd rather be than right here, right now in my kitchen, teaching you how you kids can eat really healthy foods. You're going to have to go back and teach your parents how to eat healthy foods. Oh, I'd love, love, love to know what are your ages? How, what, how, how old are you? Who's participating with me? Just so that I kind of get an idea of who my audience is. You see, I can't see your gorgeous faces because we're not face to face, but I can see you in the chat. I can see that you're there and you're giving me the energy or we're exchanging energy, let's say. Just watching, that's okay. Nine, five and eight, good. Very, very good. You know, um, a note to, to Caitlin, if they want to turn their cameras on to show me something, by all means, um, sometimes they're going to ask you to, to show me what you've created. For those of you who are, you're the auntie of four and one great niece. Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. So I'm going to have you show me your creations sometimes, okay? Now, you got. we're going to take a vote. Six years old and eight months, oh my gosh. Let's take a vote. Which one are we going to make first? Are we going to make ants on a log? or apples or palm. Type it in the chat, you guys are voting. Ants on a log, put ants, apple, or palm. Ants, apple, or palm. Which one are we gonna make first? Whoever has the most votes, Caitlin, help me out. Uh, I have a couple of ants, I have a couple of apples. Uh, it's a tie so far, it's a tie so far. Caitlin, help me out, who was the winner here? Apples or ants? Apple. Apples are, okay. We're gonna do, everyone get all your stuff ready. And if you are a kid and you don't know how to hold a knife, make sure there's a mama with you or a papa doing it with you. So we're gonna make apple sandwiches and apple teeth because I love apples. And my, my sister, I, I'm a, an aunt as well. And I don't have children of my own, but I love kids. And for her, when her kids wouldn't eat the vegetables, they would absolutely eat apples. So let's make apples not just delicious, but also fun to eat. If you wanna make apples fun, put fun in the chat. If you wanna make apples fun, put fun in the chat. Now, we're gonna start with some apple teeth. Now, I have to warn you, this gets a little messy. This gets a little messy and that's okay because it's all good. 
life is messy and you can clean your hands with soap and water or on a dish towel or on a napkin, okay? So we're gonna start with our apple. And let's see, let me move this here. No, I'm gonna just do it here. Now, I'm gonna take my paring knife and I'm going to cut my apple in half. There are other ways that you can cut an apple and that is you can get one of these Pampered Chef things. You just press it down and it slices the apple. Just don't cut your fingers on the bottom side. Or you can get an apple corer. This will, you press, it, this is actually a pineapple corer, I think. And you press it straight down and it cores the apple for you. Ugh, if I can do it straight. I didn't do it straight the last couple of times. And see, you need a little muscle in the kitchen. There you go. And we're gonna pull that out and that's gonna core my apple. There you go. I did have a dog who loved the apple core. He sat there and just couldn't wait until he could get the apple core. So look, now you can make eyes with your apples. Okay, now, <laughs> where's my paring knife? So I'm gonna, here's back to my apple. I'm gonna, I cut it in half, I'm gonna quarter it. And I'm gonna get the inside of that apple out, that little, those seeds, just swipe it through with the seeds. Now, who's okay with cutting this way? If you're not okay with cutting this way, I'll show you how to do it on the cutting board. I'll show you how to do it on the cutting board with the other side. So now it's quartered, I'm gonna quarter them again. I'm gonna quarter them again. So we have a bunch of apple quarters. Okay, if you're not okay, oh, a lot of fun, a lot of people want some fun. If you don't want to hold the knife like so, I, I learned how to hold a knife from my mom off the boat Italian. So if you don't want to do it this way, okay, then put the, cut the apple in half and then get your fingers out of the way and slice the apple right here on your cutting board slice it right there on your cutting board. Now, you still have to take out the little seeds in the middle and you still have to do a little bit of a swipe through there. If you see what I'm doing, you see how I'm using my thumb? See how I'm using my thumb to swipe it out? To swipe out that, because you don't want to be eating apple seeds, okay? They do not taste good. No, no, no. Um, I do throw them in my smoothie though, okay. Now, if we're, now this is for the teeth. So we're gonna make teeth with these. And then with this one, the one that I cored, we're gonna make sandwiches. You're like, sandwiches with an apple? Seriously? Yes. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna grip the apple with your fingers, mom and dad, okay? And then you're gonna make slices with the, of the apple. Make slices straight down, make slices. Here we go. And so now we have all of our slices and then we're going to make sandwiches with our slices. Now I have to use the tray because things get really messy with this. I love it because you get to lick your little fingers if you want. Okay, now we've got our quarters, our quartered quarters or eighths, right? A quarter of a quarter is an eighth, right? Did I get that right? And we have, now we need are we gonna do peanut butter or almond butter? Put peanut butter or almond butter in the chat. What do we want, peanut butter or almond butter? I have them both and I'm a big fan of both peanut butter and almond butter. I prefer the organic peanut butter. And <clears throat> a note to mom and dad with peanut butter, make sure that your peanut butter does not have added sugar in it. You're gonna get plenty of sugar from the apple. You don't need added sugar from your peanut butter. So just keep that in mind. I tend to get the natural peanut butter that has a little bit of oil on the top, okay? What is, what if you're allergic to nuts and seeds? Oh, are you allergic to sunflower seeds? That's a seed as well, I know. But um, are you, because a lot of people who have nut allergies can still do sunflower seeds. And oh boy, so if you're allergic to nut butters, uh, all seeds, is that correct? I've not had anyone that is allergic to all seeds completely. Then I would say then put a little bit of salt and a little bit of cinnamon on your apple and eat it like so. Or 
dip it in some hummus or some other things that you're, there's no nut butter or seed butter. But like I said, I've used sun butter for people who have allergies, which is sunflower seed butter. Oh, so, um, okay. Are you allergic to sunflower seeds? Yes or no, because I'm not getting that Isabel. I'm not get. I'm not understanding that. Um, I will show you sun butter. I always keep sunflower seed butter in my cabinet as well. So, all right, good. So that's what I would do. I would put sunflower seed butter on your apple. Yum, yum, yum. Now, well, here's a problem. Do a close up here, Caitlin, do a close up. You're gonna see, what do you see? A lot of oil. You're gonna see a lot of oil on the top there. And that is a deterrent for moms and dads who don't wanna have to clean up or deal with stirring all of that oil with a knife. So this is what I'm gonna do. Now look, earlier today I made a huge mess with this. So I'm gonna do it in a container for you today. That's only because I didn't hold onto the jar. So I'm gonna get a hand mixer and I'm gonna get this, what is this called? I don't know what this is called, this is blade. See, I make a mess. And I'm gonna put that in and we're gonna mix it with the blender. No more needing to do it with a knife. And now you can get your natural peanut butter and no complaints about the oil on the top. Now, I think Skippy has a natural peanut butter as well that doesn't have the oil at the top, that doesn't have added sugar. And that's the key, mom and dad and kids, you don't want added sugar in your peanut butter, your almond butter, your sun butter. And yes, there are sun butters that have added sugar. We don't want that. Look how easy that was. Look how easy that was. That's what you wanna do. Now, fair warning, fair warning, I have crunchy peanut butter. And crunchy peanut butter makes a little, it's my favorite by the way, cause I think that's all I have in the house is crunchy. Is it makes a little bit more of a mess when it comes to our apple sandwiches and our apple teeth, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna get a little messy. You guys ready to get a little messy? We're gonna get our eighths of our apple and we're gonna put a little slathering of peanut butter on that. And then we're gonna get the other eighth of that apple, put a little slathering, just a little slathering nothing crazy, a little slathering. And then we're gonna get our marshmallows. Look, you gotta get mini marshmallows, mini marshmallows and stick them to the peanut butter or the almond butter. I think the- And while you're doing that, Tina. Yeah, Oh, go ahead. sorry, what, what do you think about tahini as well as a substitute? Um, I like tahini, it's not very, sweet it's more savory it's more savory so yes you can um if you can do tahini um and sun butter i would mix the two mix them together and a little there it's a little nicer i love tahini i use it for i make a beet hummus and it's wonderful so here's my apple teeth so great great question i was going to mention it earlier so there you go one of my apple teeth there you go. Fun to eat because it's messy and you get to lick your fingers if you like to lick your fingers. Okay. Now, if you don't, if you could be, yeah, you can use tahini. Great question. Now you could also make apple sandwiches, get a slice of apple like I just have here. Right. And you can put some peanut butter on one side and then top it with the other half. And now you have an apple sandwich. And those of you who still eat bread, which is perfectly fine, instead of using jelly in your bread, take slices of apple and put the slices of apple in with the peanut butter and the bread. Oh my gosh. And you get more fruits and vegetables in your life. And that's the whole idea is that we wanna eat the rainbow and we wanna eat as many fruits and vegetables as possible. So there we have it, our apple sandwiches and our apple teeth. Who made apple teeth? If you made apple teeth, put teeth in the chat and then we're gonna, and if you want to turn on your video, you're welcome to turn on your video so that we can see your apple teeth. I want to see your apple teeth. I want to see your teeth. Okay, there we go. There we go, our apple sandwiches and our apple teeth. All right, anybody? Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Lower it down a little, let me see. <gasps> Great job. Oh my goodness gracious, great job, kids. Oh, they're fun. I bet you you can't wait to eat those, huh? 
Yeah, I know. I can tell. I can tell. Great job. Anybody else want to show me their teeth? Show me your teeth. I think Lady Gaga has a song, Show Me Your Teeth. I, <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. Okay, next we're going to make ants on a log. Who here has made ants on a log in the past? Put ants in the chat. If you've made ants on a log, put ants in the chat. Put ants in the chat if you've made ants on the log. Good, good. What's your favorite thing to put on ants on a log? Because here, uh, all right. Let's start with this. We don't need two of those. We're going to start with celery. I washed up my celery. I washed it up. And who here likes celery? Celery is so good. It's full of mostly water, believe it or not, mostly water. And uh, there you go. Wonderful in stir fries, wonderful in soups. It's just an amazing flavor enhancer. And it's also full of water and it's got nutrition that's very good for you. Word of warning, if you're going to eat celery, I'm going to say, please get your celery organic because celery is one of those vegetables that really sops up all of the toxins that are in soil. So we want to make sure that we get some really good, clean celery that is delicious. If you don't like celery, I guarantee you, you will like it if you get it organic. Now, the first thing we're gonna put on our celery is what? Our nut butter or our seed butter. Sun butter, peanut butter, or almond butter. Since my peanut butter is already open, I'm gonna go ahead you just take a scoop of that peanut butter and slide it on down and fill up that celery. Fill up that celery stick all the way down. Fill it up. Don't be shy. Peanut butter is full of protein. It's full of protein. Very good for you. But remember, what, I, what did I say to you earlier? Who remembers? Put it in the chat. Who remembers what not to find in your peanut butter on the ingredients label? What not to find on the ingredients label? Who remembers? Thank you. Good. Good, right, it's sugar. You don't want sugar on the ingredient, in the ingredients in your peanut butter. You don't need it, you don't need it. You're gonna get natural sugar from your apple, natural sugars from your vegetables. And now, what is your favorite topping for your ants on a log? What's your favorite topping for ants on a log? What's your favorite topping? Type it in the chat, what's your favorite topping for ants on a lug. What's your favorite topping? Let me see, we got sugar, we got sugar. Dark chocolate chips. Oh, somebody just stole my heart. Yeah, raisins, yeah. So you can do raisins, you can do chocolate chips. Oh, M&Ms, I haven't seen that one yet. Look, I told you I make a mess. Um, M&Ms, good. Cranberries, M&Ms are not the healthiest, but it's okay, we're okay to have a little bit of fun. So you can put some raisins, you can do chocolate chips. Now, these are really good chocolate chips from a company called Enjoy Life. I really like these chocolate chips. Now, for mom and dad who don't want a lot of calories and they wanna make ants and logs, ants on a log, lilies is uh, sweetened with stevia as opposed to regular sugar. So a little less calor caloric over here. But very good chocolate chips, there's no junk in this one, okay? It's, yes, a little bit of sugar, but not a lot of junk. And I always put my chocolate chips, I just throw them in a big jar. And there you go. You're gonna put your ants on that log. Now, who here has heard of goji berries? Who here has heard of goji berries? Goji berries. These are, can cottage cheese be subbed for peanut butter, peanuts? Of course, that's a great idea. Why not? What about cream cheese? I've done cream cheese in the past too. I've done a little bit of cream cheese. You could do oh, cottage cheese. That's a great alternative to, the, to cream cheese. Um, yeah, you can do that. You can even put hummus on your celery sticks. Why not? Again, I make a hummus with beets and tahini and cashews out of this world in, or baba ganoush. Who, who knows what baba ganoush is? I know that's like a mouthful, baba ganoush. If you know, yeah, some people know what baba ganoush is. It's like, a, it's kind of like a hummus, but made with eggplant and tahini. 
Now, I've made a hummus with beets and eggplant all together in tahini and cashews and stuff. So these here, if you can see these, these are called goji berries. There's some dried fruit, and they're very high in antioxidants. What that means, it's just very, very good for your body. And they're super yummy and super sweet. So if you want, you can put them on the end of your ants on a log so you have little antennae. Or you can just line your entire ant on a log with goji berries or raisins. I, I like the goji berries better than raisins. Raisins aren't my favorite. I'd rather have grapes than raisins. But goji berries, very, very, very good for you. They clean out toxins from your body and make you healthy, which is good, which is what you want, right? Okay, so here are my ants on a log. I did chocolate chips and goji berries. Let's see what you guys did. Who wants to show me their camera? Nufatel instead of cream cheese, it's available. We had very good, very, very good. Very good. There's my ants on a log. Who wants to show me their ants on a log? Hello, cutie pies. Do I see chocolate chips? I, oh, I didn't think about that. You put marshmallows on yours. What a great idea. I'm going to add a couple marshmallows to mine. Oh, look at those hands full of peanut butter too. Great job, kids. Great job. Time to eat now, isn't it? So there we go. Ants on a log. Okay. Hey. Next, we are going to make my favorite, 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 favorite thing. And it's a palm tree made of fruit. A palm tree made with fruit. And it's super, super easy to do and fun. Because when you show this as a, as a dessert after dinner, the kids are going to go, wow, that's fun to eat, right? So let's have some fun. So the very first thing that I have to do every time I see a tangerine or a clementine is I've got to get a marker and I've got to make some funky eyes and a funny face. So if anybody has a pen nearby, I dare you to make a funny little face out of your mandarin orange. Let me see some funny faces. Anybody have some funny faces to show me with their mandarin oranges? With their mandarin oranges? Uh, do you need to wash goji? No, they're dry. It's a dried fruit. They're already washed and cleaned and dried and everything. No, you never find them fresh, the goji berries. So I'm just going to peel a whole bunch of tangerines or mandarin oranges or the halos, whatever you find. Okay, just peel them, throw them on the bottom here. But remember, give your kids a little pen and pencil or whatever and have them draw funny faces on the oranges just because it's fun and we want to make we want to make eating vegetables eating fruits fun so that they they want to eat these as opposed to packaged foods right and vitamins i mean fruits and vegetables are jam-packed full of vitamins antioxidants minerals fiber fiber that is essential essential for life so, okay, so here we've got our part of our garden here. Maybe we can use another one if I have a minute. And now you can do one banana or two bananas. How many people do you have at the house? How many people do you want to make this fun for? I'm going to make this with two bananas. Or you can slice your banana in half and then have two halves, okay? Here we go. Now, I like the bananas. You see how my banana skin is a little on the polka dotty side? Uh, it's a little on the ripe side, which is good, but, I, but they're not mushy. When they, my bananas get to this level, if I'm not going to eat them, I peel them all and put them in freezer bags and put it in the freezer. And then, then you can just pull them out and eat them as little snacks or you can throw them into smoothies. So I'm making them easy to eat by just slicing down the banana. I'm just slicing down the banana so that it's easy to eat. And if you want, you can just keep this as finger food, or you can get some toothpicks and put some toothpicks in there. Okay. So we've got our, our ground, our ground cover, or our oranges, our tree trunk or a banana and now we've got to make a canopy and we're going to do a canopy 
with, who knows what this is? Type in the chat if you know what this is. Type in the chat if you know what this is, type it in the chat. <clears throat> if you know what this is, kiwi, yes, yes, it's a kiwi. <clears throat> Trick question for you. What has more vitamin or what has more potassium, the kiwi or the banana? <clears throat> Which has more potassium, kiwi or a banana? Trick question here. It's not a really a trick question, but it's a question. Which one do you think has more potassium, the kiwi or the banana? I have one banana with question. Oh, banana. Everyone thinks it's a banana. Guess what, guys? Guess what, guys and girls? The kiwi has much more potassium than the banana. Bananas are also high in starch. So us adults, we don't always need all of that energy. Children, of course, they need all of that energy. Uh, so to get my potassium, I make sure that I eat a lot of kiwi. So once again, um, you don't have to peel your kiwi to eat it. You could just slice off the top, get a spoon in there and eat it with a spoon if you wanted. But to make our fun palm tree they, that we want our beautiful little children's fingers in and wanting to eat, we're going to peel all that fuzzy stuff out of this out off of it. It is edible. You can scrub it and eat it, but kids are not going to like it. I don't like it, so I don't know why the kids would like it. So get rid of all of that skin. And once again, yes, I do. I cut towards myself. It's just easier. I don't know any other way to peel a vegetable than this way. So kids, make mom and dad peel or have mom and dad peel your kiwi for you. Have mom and dad peel your kiwi for you. There we go. Now we're gonna cut our kiwi into quarters. So I cut it in half, cut it in half again, and quarter it, actually eighth it. Remember I said quarter eighth, so it's eighth it. Well, I want you to eighth it, okay? Slice it up and we're gonna make the canopy of the tree. That's what the leaves are called on the top of the, the big part of the top of the tree is called a canopy. It's called a canopy. All right. Do not like all those seeds, the seeds in kiwi? Is that what you're talking about? The seeds in kiwi? Okay. I don't, I don't like seeds either. They get stuck in my teeth. So, but the seeds in kiwi really don't bother me. They don't bother me. Okay. What if you're allergic to kiwi? What can you do? What can you use for the canopy? You know what? First of all, I've not heard of anybody being allergic to kiwi and I'm so sorry, but what you tell me, what other fruit or vegetable would you put as the canopy? Let's ask the audience. What other fruit or vegetable would you use for the canopy? I would use spinach. Um, or let me think, what other vegetables could we use? We could use slices of apple. We could use, what else? Come on, help me out. Sugar, oh, sugar snap peas, cantaloupe, good, cantaloupe. Oh, grapes would work beautiful. What about peaches? Sliced peaches. Peaches would be beautiful for the top here. What other vegetables and fruits do you like? Do you want to serve as a dessert? Because this is like, this could be breakfast. It could be dessert. It could be anything, right? Oh, raspberries, berries. Yeah, all of the berries could be at the top here. I'm so sorry you're allergic to, to, to the kiwi though. They're so good for you. They're so, so, so good for you. So depending on how many people you have is how big you want to make your canopy and your ground cover and have your palm tree. There we go. Here we have it. Now I'm going to, there we go. Now I'm going to show you really quick. Does anybody have their palm tree? Let me see. Let me see. Anybody have a palm tree that I can see? Do we have a palm tree? We're getting there. Oh my gosh, you did raspberries and raisins. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. I want to know, you know, I want to tell you really quick how you can make, I'm just going to do it. We're going to take a time and I'm going to do overnight oats because these are so, this is such a wonderful breakfast food for you to eat. You get a, a banana and you mash it up. Okay. I'm going to do it really quick 
Now, as I'm doing this, I want you to type in the chat, what have you found most valuable about our time together today? What have you found most valuable about our time together today? What have you found most valuable about our time together today? There's all the sugar. There it is, the banana. Then I'm gonna put a quarter cup of old fashioned oats. Quarter cup old fashioned oats, that's it. I'm not gonna cook them either. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for them to cook in the fridge. Then I'm gonna put quarter cup inspiration, fun with food, good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna put a quarter cup of some yogurt in there. Oops, I made a mess. Typical, life is messy, oh well. Life is messy, but look how fast this is. This is how fast overnight's oats are. Quarter cup of some almond milk or any milk that you like. And then I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of some vanilla. But you know what? You can get maple uh, extract. You can get banana extract. You can get hazelnut extract. You can get whatever extract you want. That's it. You're gonna put stir that all up put a lid on this, put it in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow morning, it'll be done. Serve it with some chopped nuts. Oh, somebody was allergic to nuts. You could always get coconut butter, I forgot. These are shredded coconut. You could also get coconut butter and use coconut butter as opposed to the peanut butter. So I don't believe I forgot about the coconut butter, but that works. So there you go. You're just gonna shake this up, put a lid on it, put it in the refrigerator and serve it with some fruit, with some nuts, with some coconut, and you have your overnight oats. Great. Now, okay, what kid-friendly recipes, my, oh, thank you. Different options to offer each meal for servings. Good. Making recipes fun with fruits. Good. Can't wait to share with your kids. Kaylin is going to put in the chat real quick. Uh, a free gift for everybody, and that is my free uh, Joyful Gut, uh, not a recipe book, it's my Joyful Gut book to teach you how you can have, how you can live a life that's healthy, vibrant, and free. Help, teaches you how to have a, have a happy tummy for you and your family. Thank you so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. This was, it's always the most fun doing this with the children. So I so appreciate you here, you being here with me today and making the foods with me today. And thank you for those two little girls. You're just adorable. You're absolutely adorable. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, namaste.